There is no evidence that the ancient dinosaurs had a space program. If they did, it was not effective enough. Uh. Bill Knight, look me in the eye and tell me, if all space and time began at a single point, why do we see light from the past if we all started from the same place? Well, th that's the elegant, wonderful thing about astrophysics. You can see light from 13.6 billion years ago. That's what's so cool. Look me in the eye and tell me whether or not you advocate for every American to get a flu shot. It is not an option. You guys, vaccines, it's 250-year-old technology. This has been tested. This is works. This is science. Get vaccinated, people. Bill Nye, will we ever be able to travel at the speed of light? Uh, with the discovery or rather detection of gravitational waves, it seems even more unlikely that you'll be able to travel at the speed of light. Bill Nye, look me in the eye and tell me what the scariest scientific catastrophic event could be in your mind. Oh, a meteor, uh, an, uh, an asteroid that hit the Earth. Be bad. It happened to the ancient dinosaurs. There is no evidence that the ancient dinosaurs had a space program. If they did, it was not effective enough against an incoming. But we could, if we were thoughtful, we could set up a spaceship to go out and give it a nudge. Are we still evolving, and are those of us who are bald more evolved? Uh, my understanding is uh, bald people are in the mix, and I don't know that you're more evolved. I, I don't yeah, humans are still evolving, that's for sure. Bill Nye, the science guy, look me in the eye and tell me what gives you the most hope for the future. That young people are excited about science. So in the future, we will have enough scientists and engineers to save the world. Bill Nye, the science guy, awesome. Looking you in the eye. Looking me in the eye. This Thank has you. been another episode of Bill Nye, Look Me in the Eye, which we hope is a thing. It's a thing. It's a great thing. It's become a big thing. <laughs>